So if I like a guy, no eye contact, body language away, and I just pretend like they don't exist, because then there's no chance for rejection. So I'm like, but then if I don't like someone, this is how I am. Oh yeah, wow, tell me more. Tell me what you do, you do, mm. and then I make eye contact. Like, why do I do that? Regardless of this revelation, she will still continue to blame men for why she's still single. I never did like her. Listen, I'm gonna teach you how to be a proper gym slut, okay? It took me months to figure out how girls got their shorts like slurped up in their booty cheeks. Like, babe, that's. <laughs> That slurped up in there all the way. Also, I had stains, so I took like a Tide pen. That's why there's little wet spots. So when you first put on your shorts, they're probably gonna look something like this. Like it is not given body yaddy yaddy. So what you're gonna do, and there's probably a better way, but this is what I do. I just, I just shove them up in there. I don't fold them. I don't got time for that. And I just quite literally don't give that much of a fuck. Now, most important part. What you're gonna do is you're quite literally just, there's no, there's no good way of saying this. You shove it up your asshole. You shove it so far up your asshole, okay? Trigger warning. Sorry to all my babes with hemorrhoids. You're really not going to like this one. Um, and you just kind of get used to it. I don't know. It's like when you first start wearing a thong, you hate it, but you just get used to it. This is so pathetic and absolutely disgusting. These chicks always say they don't do things to get attention from men and they don't want to be objectified. Yet here they are, making themselves look like clowns to get attention from men. These 304s belong to the streets. <laughs> this is what people don't see about co-parenting with a person that takes away everything from you. He took away my happiness. He took away all the material things. He took away the happiness of my oldest child. <laughs> And when you come to the police with your papers from the court showing them that the other co-parent is violating that court order, that that person harass you, that that person makes false accusations to CPS, that that person is making your life, your life a living hell. And there's never no one no one behind the person suffering this. This man has taken away everything from me. Just because I can pay for a lawyer, for a modification case, a lawyer asked here in Texas up to $15,000 just a deposit. Never there's anyone to help mom or dad they're passing and trying to co-parent with another co-parent this is our bible but we are the only ones following it police is not there to help you the court is not there to help you there's never nobody there's no lawyers there to help you because as long as the child sleep at your house you're well served you're fine you won the case a case that has haunted me for four years in a domestic violence abuse relationship with this man and it's still haunting me four years after because i don't stop being at court this man, for every single thing that doesn't go his way, takes me to court. Now he has our child for his summer vacation and after agreeing on text message to give me the weekend of the 14th, 15th, and 16th, I get to pick up our child. I have to drive two hours to come pick up our child. And this man tells the police that he is doing the same thing that I do to him during the whole year. Block him and not let him see his child. I have never, never blocked this man. And if there's something that I love in my life and I'll give my life for is my children. I will never stop fighting for my children and their safety and their well mental well-being. This is so unfair. <laughs> At first, I felt sorry for her because it sounded like the man was trying to make her life a living hell. 
But then I realised he was trying to fight to see his child. She is basically going through what every single man goes through when he is not able to see his child and has to continuously go to court to get access. In this case, he currently has the children and she doesn't enjoy it. Never take a woman's tears as her being victimised. She could just be upset over the fact she's losing at something. Loser! You're a loser!